When you're trying to identify what type of scheme you're going to use, you need to decide between a public addressing scheme and a private addressing scheme. A public addressing scheme is used when many of your hosts require direct access to the Internet, and you have a sufficient number of public addresses to go around. This means that you should have been assigned an address by the Internet community or by an ISP, which has enough addresses to directly address your hosts. However, this isn't practical or even possible in today's day and age for all companies. Many companies have grown well beyond the size of any available IP address schemes because most of what is left is simply Class C addresses. So in a lot of cases, you would need to go with a private addressing scheme. A private addressing scheme is used when fewer hosts require direct access to the Internet. Normally, these hosts involve the perimeter router or device that provides network address translation at your network perimeter. In this case, we want to go ahead and use addresses on the inside that not only allow us to address the internal network environment, but could also provide an additional level of security. We'll probably not have a sufficient number of public addresses for our entire set of hosts inside, so a private addressing scheme can be chosen in this scenario.